If you're researching personal bankruptcy in Canada because your financial situation is too tight, that's unfortunate, but you've come to the right place. I'm Doug Hoyes, a licensed insolvency trustee with 30 years of experience helping people get out of debt. And in this video, I'm going to explain how to file for bankruptcy in Canada. Whether you're an individual struggling with personal debt or a business owner facing financial difficulties, understanding this process is crucial to making informed decisions about your financial future. Filing for bankruptcy is not something anyone plans for or hopes for, but the bankruptcy process is designed to offer a fresh start when you need it the most. So let's take it step by step and I'll provide some examples as we go along. The first thing to do is figure out where you're at. You want to make a list of the things you own, who you owe money to, and how much money you make and spend each month. This step is crucial because it helps you determine whether bankruptcy is the right solution for you or if there might be other solutions like debt consolidation or a consumer proposal that would work better for your specific situation. Remember, this is not just about crunching numbers. It's about understanding your financial health. Take your time with this step and don't hesitate to seek professional help if you're feeling overwhelmed. Next, you'll need to consult a licensed insolvency trustee, or LIT. In Canada, only LITs are authorized to administer bankruptcies. We are your go-to experts who will review your financial situation, explain your options, and guide you through the entire process. Once you've decided to proceed with bankruptcy, it's time to tackle the paperwork. Don't worry, your trustee will help you through this. You'll need to fill out detailed documents that outline your debts, assets, income, and expenses. The trustee will then file these documents with the Office of the Superintendent of Bankruptcy, or the OSB, the federal government agency that regulates all bankruptcy filings in Canada. Now, this is where you'll feel some immediate relief. Once your bankruptcy is filed, you receive something called an automatic stay of proceedings. This legal protection means that creditors must stop contacting you and they cannot take legal action to collect debts. Filing for bankruptcy is not just about filing papers and walking away. You will have some responsibilities too. These include attending two credit counseling sessions designed to help you manage your finances better in the future. You'll be submitting monthly income and expense reports to your trustee and you'll be making any required payments, which may include surplus income payments, depending on your earnings. Think of these duties as steps towards a better financial future. These are not just requirements, they're opportunities to learn and grow financially. One of the more difficult aspects of bankruptcy is asset liquidation. Some of your assets may need to be sold by the trustee to repay your creditors. However, Canada's bankruptcy laws provide exemptions to ensure you can keep essential items like basic household items, a vehicle up to a certain value, and tools of your trade. You also get to keep your RSP except for any contributions you've made in the last year. This way, you are not left without the basics you need to move forward. Finally, let's talk about discharge, your ticket to a fresh start. For most first-time bankruptcies, you can be discharged after 9 months or 21 months if you have surplus income, provided you have fulfilled all of your duties and there are no objections from creditors or the OSB. This discharge releases you from the obligation to repay most debts, allowing you to rebuild your financial life. To bring this process to life, let us look at a couple of examples. Imagine Jane, uh, who graduated from college 7 years ago and who's overwhelmed with student loans and credit card debt. Despite her efforts to budget and consolidate, she just can't keep up. After consulting with a licensed insolvency trustee, she files for bankruptcy, completes all her duties, and after nine months, she's discharged, ready to start fresh. Or consider Mark, a small business owner who expanded his operations with loans but faced a market downturn. Filing for bankruptcy allowed Mark to address his business debts and focus on future ventures without the burden of past financial obligations. Before I wrap up, it's important to understand that bankruptcy will impact your credit rating, making it challenging to obtain credit in the short term. Also, not all debts are discharged in bankruptcy, things like student loans less than seven years old, alimony, child support, and court-imposed fines will still need to be paid. Filing for bankruptcy in Canada is a serious decision, but it's one that can offer the relief you need when debts become unmanageable. 
Always consult with a licensed insolvency trustee to explore your options and understand the implications fully. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe for more financial insights. Thanks for watching. To learn more, please visit us at hoys.com and watch more of our videos on relief from debt.